Today on Logan Lee Adventures, my Southern Africa road trip with my boyfriend Yeroon has led us to Lesotho, a whole new country in the smack middle of the Rainbow Nation. Just up ahead is Masiru in Lesotho, so we're just almost reaching to the border right now of our new African country, which is this little landlocked uh, kingdom within, I guess, surrounded by South Africa. But I'm excited. We're just pulling up to the border post right now. Alright, we're gonna grab our passports and then join this line outside right here. It's quite a long line as you can see. It's all the way down, but hopefully we'll get new steps soon. Two hours later. New passport tab right here. This should do. From crossing the border overland, we're making our way to Misiru, the capital where we chill for the night and start our Lesotho journey from. First impressions of Lesotho so far, it's beautiful with all this mountain surrounding. Like, even from here, you can. And we're so high up, it feels like I'm almost touching the sun almost. And the sun is really close. And. Yeah, just looking out from our accommodations room window, you can see like the hills and the mountains go so far down the horizon. It's really unique here. Included, so we're just gonna chow down for breakfast before we hit the road. For the first part of our breakfast, uh, we got to order different type of cereals, and I saw on the menu there's something called Wetabix, and I've never had it before. So Yurun was like, "Yeah, he had it in New Zealand before." So I said, "Okay, I'll try it out." And then he ordered the corn flakes, and look at what we got. I mean, I'm sure people like this, but. And this is exactly what I ordered, but it's so sad compared to this. Look how good this looks. Look how yummy. That's not even cornflakes, that's muesli compared to... What is this? So apparently I'm supposed to put poor milk in it. It looks sad, right? It looks so sad. So it, wait for it. I'm supposed to wait until it like melts and crumbles. Ooh. Compared to this. Look at that, wow. Guys. Look at this. Look at that. Freshly squeezed. So nice. You're off. The suit. Let's go. Throughout our travels, the weather has always been on our side. Even if you watch any of our past videos, it's always sunny and blue skies. So what's one day of refreshing rain is actually quite cozy in our car. What you don't see is we have the heater on almost at max because being in a mountainous kingdom, we are way up in altitude. So it's naturally much colder in Lesotho. We made a little pit stop in a town in Lesotho to grab some sip chips. Yes. So these flavors is this one is smoked beef flavor. Three bags. Yes. We got three bags. And this one is cheese and onion. And then we have tomato sauce. 
sauce. Which I hope it's like ketchup chips because we love ketchup chips. The whole country of Lesotho has only a population of 2.2 million people. That's just crazy considering we were just in Saigon in Vietnam, a city that has almost 10 million people in it. South Africa, which surrounds Lesotho's borders, has a population of 56 million people. Now that is how small this country is. We're at the Lipofang Caves, which is a heritage site in Lesotho. And we're just gonna go and explore these caves right now. So apparently they have really cool drawings in it, but I don't know what to expect. So I'm just walking there right now. Yeah, the view. It's so nice being outside of the car and just kind of exploring, going through this part of the city. These are the Lepungfu Caves, originally used by the San and other Stone Age people. The walls contain important rock art and a rich archaeological deposit of Stone Age implements. Literally, this place was here during the early part of human civilization and the fact that me and Yerun are now wandering around here is just quite unbelievable. It's so surreal being able to see cave paintings, cave paintings still etch onto the walls. It, it just looks so frozen in time. It's a little faded but you can still make out it. These are made out of human blood. Oh, yes. And people have lived in here and this was over 5,000 years old. <laughs> when people used to live here, they used the skin of the animals to keep themselves warm. You can see like this used to be a house here and then it was made out of grass as well. Just in time because the rain has stopped as we venture deeper into the heart of this kingdom. And as promised, mountains galore. It truly feels like I'm in a remote part of Switzerland or Iceland. The lush swath of green, the roaming mountain goats, sheep and cows ready for posture, and the land so quiet and humble yet ginormous and forevermore. There were so many moments where Yerun and I are just in complete silence trying to take in the sheer size and beauty of this country. I've always wanted to go everywhere in the world, no matter how overpopulated or remote, no matter how many times it's been done before or even undiscovered and off the beaten path. Who knows someone who has ever been to Lesotho before? Who wants to go to Lesotho? Every time I travel with Yurun, I just feel so grateful and lucky that I've met and belong to someone who has an insatiable thirst for the world, a curiosity that matches mine and a soul that wants to know every bit of this world too. Damn, 
just look at this incredible view. It takes a bit by breathing and just taking this all in. We are about 3,500 meters up high in this beautiful mountain passage. And I'm just shocked because I didn't expect, I knew that there were like as you see, I saw when we first rolled up into Maceo, the capital in Lesotho, there was like these beautiful mountains surrounding the city. But I didn't know that the kingdom here had so many hills, so many mountains, just saw all around. And like you can see like little trickling streams of waterfalls, rivers on the side, and just like animals roaming around the streets. It's absolutely stunning. And what I just learned as well as you saw is that there's this place called Afriski and in the winters here which would be our northern hemisphere summers you can ski so I knew that you can ski in Africa but I didn't know whereabouts of those South Africa I think you can so I'm not sure but in Lesotho is known for skiing especially for South Africans taking the holidays here so I like we both would love to go skiing eventually here in Lesotho because the scenery is so gorgeous and as I'm showing you guys the road that we're doing this trip on there's literally nobody else on this road it's just us, a car and I imagine in any other countries with this gorgeous scenery mostly it will be filled with other cars and other travelers you know but it's just so strange to have this whole view to ourselves aside from the odd um, here and there shepherds with their sheep. It's absolutely stunning. This is us signing off from Lesotho. In our next video, we zigzag our way back into South Africa, so be sure to subscribe not to miss out. Give this video a like, leave us a comment below, and we always love hearing from you. Sending you much love from Southern Africa.